What's up, everybody? It's your boy, CB Sports TV. Shout out to the whole LDBC. All right, this is my official video on the Keith Thurman, um, my fight prediction for the Keith, um, Manny Pacquiao versus Keith Thurman. It's going to go down the whole card, starting with the uh, first off, we have a good um, fight on Fox, um, which is going to be um, Caleb Plant, Caleb Sweethands Plant versus Mike Lee. Now, I expect Caleb Plant to fully outclass this guy. And I would say, because Caleb Plant is not a knockout artist, I give Caleb Plant a young, I would say a 12 round unanimous decision. Possibly could stop him, but I'm just going to go with a 12 round unanimous decision. Don't, also, don't forget to turn tune into Fox as well to check out the young, um, hard hitting heavyweight prospect, F.A. Ajagba. You know, he has a good fight against another power puncher, but I think he should overwhelm dude and get him about it in about four or five rounds, honestly. Now to the main card, it'll start off with um, Lewis Neary versus Juan Carlos Payano, bantamweights. Lewis Neary, I'm a big fan of his. Um, I, I think he's the only guy in the little weight class that has a legit shot at beating um, a new way. Honestly, Lewis Neary is 23, 29 and over 23 knockouts. Very good fast hands, in and out style, you know what I'm saying? It has power. You know, great combination puncher, go behind a jab, has decent defense. So, I mean, I, um, I, I, I'm I very impressed with him. I'm going to lose near in this fight. I expect him to stop Juan Carlos Payano somewhere like around about the ninth to 10th round. Then we have Sergey Lipinitz versus John Molina Jr. This is going to be a very interesting fight. This is a pick up fight in my opinion. I, um... I don't know who to lean with, you know, just toss your port, you know, toss up. So, um, but I would still say I might favor Sergey Lippin. It's a little bit in that fight, but it is to be determined, you know. I don't, um, I'm really not sold on Lippin. It's, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not. I don't see, you know, saying what's so special about him. He's a decent fighter at best to me. So, but I'm still going to go with Lippin. It's by, um, Split decision in this fight. He should win. He should be able to outbox him. And, um, you know what I'm saying, even out slug in certain points. But he has to be smart with it because, you know, John Molina, I feel like it's going to bring pressure. And it's going to try to, you know, impose his will on uh, on Lippinitz. But we shall see. Then in the co-main event, we have, what is his name? Um, in the co-main event, I forgot the boy name, so I'm going to skip that. Um, <laughs> y'all gotta forgive me. I do. I forgot the guy in the cold main event. Um, but I know in the main event we have Keith Thurman versus Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao. Now I've been torn on this fight as to who I think is going to win. Um, but I'm, ugh, I, I don't know. One part of me says Pacquiao, another part says Thurman. But if I'm a betting man, I have to place a bet who I think is going to win. I'm going to put my money on Manny Pacquiao by a split decision. I don't see Keith Thurman, you know what I'm saying? If it goes to the scorecards, I think it's going to be very hard for Keith Thurman to beat Pacquiao, especially with the style he's been implementing these last six fights. I just don't see it. You know, let me fight for seven rounds or even six rounds and run the rest of the fight. It's not going to be that. You are going to have to, this is an uphill battle for Keith Thurman. I know Pacquiao's 40 years old, but he's in great shape. And if Pacquiao gets on the inside of him, of Keith Thurman and go to the body and do it, able to do his combination punches, he can hurt Thurman still. Uh, Manny Pacquiao can still hurt Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman has to box from the outside. He has to box smartly. You can't do all that running around. If the judges see you running around, they're going to automatically give the round to Pacquiao. This is what I see. They will give the round to Pacquiao. They will not give it to you. They're not going to, you know what I'm saying? If you're not you're not fighting the Danny Garcia, you're not fighting the Sean Porter, you're not fighting the, none of those guys. You're fighting the eight division world champion in Manny Pacquiao, okay? Whose record speaks for itself, and that's just being honest. So Keith Thurman's gonna have to come to fight. He's gonna have to hit Manny Pacquiao with, with check left hooks, or or you know, saying come right down the middle with the right hand. He's gonna have to box. He needs to double and triple up on his jacket to get Pacquiao different looks and be swift on his feet, but don't run. And if he really wants it, he's going to have to give Pacquiao respect to it. If you ask me, I think he's going to have to sit down on some punches, which is going to put him in harm's way of being able to get countered by Pacquiao. And Pacquiao catch you with the one, two, three, you no know, four, five, or six. He can. But Pacquiao, I think, needs to do, comb do combination punches and go to the body. 
and um and um just be relentless and you know he has that in and out style but don't get timed he has to be careful with that because Keith can catch him with that so my official prediction for this fight I have Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao by split decision and now it just came to me the co-main event which is Jardinus Ugas versus Omar Figueroa which I think you know is going to be a good fight it might be a chess match um, Omar Figueroa has to make this, you know what I'm saying, uh, a phone booth fight. He cannot sit there and box with Jordanus Ugas. Jordanus Ugas will pick him apart. Jordanus Ugas' problem is, as big as he is, though, he has no punching power. That's his only problem. So, I am calling this fight right here for the WBC um, Eliminator a draw. That's how I see it. I think it's going to end up a draw. I can see this fight end up a draw because... I don't see uh, Figueroa stopping Ugas, and I don't see Ugas definitely not stopping Figueroa. This is going to be a 12-round fight. This fight, I have called it a draw. So y'all let me know what y'all think. That's my prediction for the Pacquiao Thurman card. This is your boy, CB Sports TV. Shout out to the LDBC. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you comment on this video. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so you get notified whenever I drop videos. I'm gone.